This is a story to present what pelvic organ prolapse is and what options are available to treat it. Pelvic organ prolapse is very common and affects many women. Hi, Mom. Hi, Nancy. It's so nice to have you over. How have you been? I've been okay. The kids have been keeping me busy. How have you been? I've been doing well. I've been sewing a t-shirt quilt for your friend, Natalie. Speaking of, how are your friends from your running group? Oh, well, I haven't been running with them lately. You used to love the running group. It seems to make you really happy. What happened? Well, it is just that I have started to feel a lot of pressure when I run lately. I feel like something is falling out of me and it's been getting worse. And I can't hold my bladder as long, so I have to wear pads when I run. It's just so uncomfortable and frustrating for me. Just being on my feet makes it worse. I don't know what to do. You know, I had something like that two years ago. Some of my sisters did too. We just never talked about it with anyone. My primary doctor ended up referring me to a urogynecologist. I'd never heard of this kind of doctor. Turns out they specialize in this problem. I was told I had a prolapse and it's very common. She said that almost 50% of women have prolapse, but about 6% of women are bothered by it. Oh, really? I had no idea that that was going on. I have felt so alone and embarrassed. I just feel like something is wrong with me. You're not alone. I remember being worried that it was a tumor, but it wasn't. I think they said my uterus and bladder had fallen down. It felt like an egg or ball down there. It's not dangerous. Oh, wow. I had no idea. What did you end up doing about it? The urogynecologist was great and told me about a lot of options. She said if I wasn't too bothered, we could just watch it. I ended up having surgery. But your aunt Martha is still using a pessary and she seems really happy with it. A pessary is a device that is put in the vagina that lifts things back up. And your aunt Sherry met with a physical therapist I think she had the least symptoms of all of us, but that works well for her too. She learned some exercises that helped her. Her physical therapist had additional training to evaluate and provide techniques to improve her pelvic floor. Oh, wow. Hmm. I didn't know that there were so many options. What did you do and did it work? After discussing all my options with my doctor, We chose the best one for me, and it worked great. My doctor had mentioned a website called Voices for PFD. It had a lot of helpful information and pamphlets on options. I think they have a list of urogynecologists in the area too. You should check it out. You should go see someone. Thanks, Mom. That's a good idea. I'll read up more about it. You're right. I think it's about time I go see someone. Hmm, okay. I think she said voices for PFD. Okay, let's find a provider. Okay, great. I found a provider. I'll call tomorrow. I wonder what it says about pelvic organ prolapse. It looks like surgery for prolapse can be done with a native tissue repair, or it can be done with mesh. I'll need to talk to my doctor more about that. Hi, Mom. I just came from a run with Natalie. Oh, that's great, honey. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling a lot better. I met with the urogynecologist who helped me choose the best plan for me. We have a plan for surgery this fall because it works better with my schedule. For now, I'm using a pessary and it helps me do everything I want to do. Oh, I'm so glad it worked out.